another guys public account here back another video and today i'm going to do what if deck was born part 30 hope you enjoy it So last part that could learn how to use his mana zone and showing everyone how much powerful he is and helping Jane with some issues that he have with some no balls and eradicate a group of monsters that was annoying to Jane. And I think that it was summary, let's begin. So a few days has passed since last time. Everybody is doing their normal routine, Deku chain with Sai. But this time Baku and Kamini join in. Both of them team up against Sai. Because remember Baku and Kamini don't have a leveling system. But I will put them at level 70 or 80. So close enough to Sai, but not enough to beat him one on one. But when they team up, Sai will have to use his mana zone at his full capacity. And Deku just watching from the sideline, mainly meditating. Then something expected happened. The queen called for class one except for Baku and Kaminari and Deku. Ormat is wondering what she needs. She told them I'm going straight to the point. Your friend Dragno or what you call him Izuku. He is not 100% human. That only thing I'm sure of. Or might tell her how do you know. The queen tell him the elf can sense magic pretty well. And the magic I can sense from your friend it's not human or not fully human. It's something I never sensed before. So I cannot tell you what he is exactly. But I can sense something else inside of him. It's fear. All my tell her, fear from what? The queen tell him, I don't know. I just sensed it last time he fought against the noble. Even though he's good at hiding it, I still sense it. That's why I gathered all of you and not go directly to him because I'm afraid that matter is a bit sensitive. So you have to address yourself. But you have any idea what he fear? Because from his strength, I don't think he fear anyone. Anybody take for a second, then I remember Deku's semi breakdown in the capital. They tell her what happened and she came with the theory that Deku is afraid from that power. For not what will power do to him. It's mostly what she's going to do to them. All my tell has so the queen tell him he's holding back because he don't want to hurt you guys. He's afraid to lose control and hurt you or even worse kill you. I think that's why he learned the mana zone to keep himself away from that power. Everybody think the queen and they decide to stay silent for the time being. So let's go to Deku. Deku is just meditating. Meanwhile Baku and Kamina are fighting Sai. Then Deku get up and stay in his place and closing his eyes. Three of them stop fighting and they ask Deku what's wrong. Deku tell them just look. He popped a full power Zeus clock. Then something else started happening. The aura of the Zeus clock is getting smaller and smaller. It's almost like it's getting inside Deku's body. And it keeps getting smaller until it's completely gone. But there is not the only change to Deku's body. His hair turned from white with bluish color to completely blue. Deku open his eyes with smoke on his face and tell them it did work huh? Bago tell him yeah what's working? Deku tell him I just figured a way to use or perfect my Zeus cloak. Kamnai tell him really? Deku tell him yeah by using mana skin. Sai tell him mana skin what's that? Deku tell him you can call it a small version of the mana zone. Then explain that mana skin keep the energy around your body and focus it. So when he combined that with the overflowing power of the Zeus cloak he managed to stop the leaking of power doing the form. Then he had it's a bit strain on the body but he can get used to it. And plus I think I got 10 times stronger than my full power Zeus cloak. So the new multiplier of the Zeus cloak is a thousand. It does not give me 20 times multiplier like the Zeus Cock evolution, but it's close enough. Three of them are impressed. Then Sai tell Deku, you are really powerful, Deku. Deku tell him, yeah, but I only figured out this form thanks to you teaching me the mana zone. So thank you, Sai. After that, let's say fast forward a few hours. Everybody is resting, then everybody gets serious all of a sudden. Then Omar approach Deku and tell him, Yo Midoriya, can we talk? Deku tell him, sure, what's wrong, All Might? All Might tell him, be honest with me. Are you too afraid from using your power? Deku try to laugh it off. Tell him, what? No, I'm not. Plus, I just created a new technique. All Might tell him, that's great. But I'm not talking about your magic. I'm talking about your quirk. You're still afraid from using it, right? Deku look at the grant and tell him, is really that obvious? All Might tell him, no. But the queen did point it out to us. So we put the piece together and realized that you're still afraid. But why? Can you just control it or something? Deku shake his head and let me know. It's not the control part I'm afraid of. I'm afraid because when I transform to that form, the younger, 
and the negative emotions that were building up inside of me before I got reborn, it will rise to the surface and flood my mind. And to tell you the truth, deep down I'm still afraid from that past. That's why if I did not meet you guys, I'll surely just give up on that world and just stay here. All my time, sorry young Midoriya, I did not know. They go tell him, no, it's okay all might. I realize I cannot run from my past. Someday I have to face it. Then all might put his hand on Deku's shoulder and tell him when they they come we will be with you that was my time thank you all might thanks all of you so now let's say time skip and the armor and weapons are ready they put in the carriage they could say goodbye to Jin and Sai for now at least and they go on their way one day up with the weapons and armor the king thank him profusely and give him a hefty reward so after that they go their normal routine mainly training and that continue for two months and during these two months Bakugo finally tell his true feeling to Oraka and ask her out she accept and they are officially a couple and when he do everybody congratulate them then Deku and Bakugo look at Kaminari give him the look you're next Kaminari face turn red and they have a good laugh about it then one day Deku go see Drake and like he expected Drake was there waiting for him Drake greet Deku and Deku tell him so Direct him, I have good news. My boss have indeed a power that can return, a power that have been lost. In exchange, he requests a meeting with you. They could tell him, what? A dragon king want to meet me. Directed him, yeah, it is really unusual. Actually, I never heard of it. A dragon requesting a human to see him. Nonetheless, the dragon king. And they could tell him, so when he want to meet me? Directed him, as soon as possible. They could tell him, okay, but can I bring my friends with me? Especially All Might, you know why. Actually, the king also requested to see them. They could tell him, okay, that's really odd and suspicious. What is actually aiming for? Directed him, I don't know. Just don't piss him off. Not the dragon like the empathy for other races. Deku tell him, yeah, I know about that. Give me a sec, I'm going to break the others. Deku open up a portal, he called for everyone. Everyone came and he explained what's going on. Aizawa shared the same thing as Deku is a bit suspicious. Then Deku reassured him, if things start getting south, I'm going to open up a portal and send you guys back. Everybody relaxed a bit, then Jago did himself to fly and tell everybody to get on him. Deku tell him, now nah, I can fly. Direct him, suit yourself, and they start flying. Some time pass, and after flying for a long distance, they arrive at a weird place. Everything starts getting foggy. Then when they pass the fog, they see large pieces of land floating. Then more, then more. Then Deku start feeling something. Then he start acting a bit weird. Deku will see that and ask him what's up. Deku tell him it's nothing, it's nothing. But Deku is asking himself, what's up with this warmth? Drake is keep staring at Deku like he knows something. Then they start seeing dragons, then more, then more. Then Drake point at the biggest island that is flying and tell them my boss live there and we are going to meet him. So everyone be in your best behavior. I body nod, Drake land, Deku do the same and they start walking. The group start getting looks from all the dragons that surround them. They feel a bit uncomfortable except for Deku for some reason and Drake also catch that. Then Drake ask him, are you not nervous being surrounded by these dragons? Deku tell him nah. I'm more nervous of meeting the king. Then they arrive at the cave, enter it and will you know it? Not only the king but the three other generals are there. Everybody bow. Then the king goes straight to the point. General Drake tell me that you need my power it's a bit odd to see a human make a request from a dragon and Drake did inform me about everything that happened to you about your rebirth about everything Deku tell him thank you for acknowledging my request so would you help me please before the king can reply the hydra tell his king sorry my king but i cannot believe that a mere human can rival a dragon nonetheless a general and the king tell him so what do you think we should do hydra tell him let me fight him and test him with my own power and see if he really that strong the king acknowledge his request ask Deku Deku tell him i have no problem with that the king stand up and open a black portal similar to Deku Deku tell him what? Drake tell him it's a spell, a dark spell. It's called portal. It resembles your gate, but it cannot travel between words. It can only teleport the user wherever he was. Deku nod. Everybody walk through the portal. When they arrive at the other side, they are in a completely different landscape. The land is rocky. I don't show any trace of life. The Hydra tell them they are not here to sightseeing. They are here to fight. So get ready, human. Deku go on his stand and tell him ready when you are. Drake take the group at a safe distance, then Deku start fighting the Hydra. The Hydra was taken off guard by Deku's speed. Even Drake think that Deku is faster than before. The Hydra try everything against Deku. Start using lightning, Deku do the same to counter it. He start using his dragon flame, Deku do the same. They seem they are equal, but because of the Hydra huge size compared to Deku, he have the upper hand because of that. Then Deku take the Hydra off guard and start shouting, Mana Zone, Dragon Eraser. And from behind the Hydra, Deku fire his Dragon Eraser. But the Hydra seen in time, I use another spell. He called it black hole. And the black portal open up and swallow Deku's attack. 
Daku said, what the? What was that? The Hydra tell him, it's a dark spell. It's called black hole. You can use it after you unlock or you learn the second level of the black magic. Daku stay silent and he proceed to attack the Hydra. The Hydra try everything against Daku. He used flames, wind, even compound the two. Daku dodged his attack and fire a typhoon at him. The Hydra tell him, what? How can you use two spell at once? Daku tell him two words, mana zone. The Hydra tell him, mana zone? Deku tell him, we don't have time for the full story, but TLDR is a technique I learned from the elves. And Hydra tell him, so we are human but trained by dragons and elves. Deku tell him, yep, I am. The Hydra smile and tell him, let's see you handle this. Then three of his head start using wind, fire, and, and third one, it seems like he's using light magic. Deku immediately uses his three-way magic also. He combines fire with wind and lightning. The Hydra yell, solar flare. And Daku yell Hellstorm and they fire the attack. Both of the attack clashes, it is seem that they are equal. Then they see Daku's attack is pushing the Hydra's back. And before he can react, attack hit him, doing quite a lot of damage. When he tried to get up, Daku is flying in front of him, ready in another three-way attack. This time he's ready in water with lightning and air. Then Daku tell him had enough. The other can sense this attack is more powerful than the previous one, but he have his pride. He gear up, he pushed Daku away with his wings, knocking him out of balance. Because remember Daku is using zero gravity. So with just a bit of wind you can push him back. So Deku loses his balance and with that the spell dispelled. The Hydra takes the opportunity to fire a three-way attack again. Deku don't have enough time to counter it. Then he yell, black hole. And he extends his arm and put a black hole in front of him. Swind a Hydra attack. The Hydra is speechless. Then he yell at Deku, you can use the black hole from the beginning? Deku tell him, no, I just learned from you. So thank you for the lesson. But I won this one. Deku uses his sneak technique to teleport in front of the Hydra and fire his three-way attack. Shocking Typhoon, he call it. Knocking out the Hydra. Every dragon is speechless, so Jig was not lying. This kid, this human is as strong as dragons. The king stays silent, then he fly at Deku. He healed the Hydra, the Hydra get up, the king ordered him to get out of the hair, and Deku looked at the king tell him, so will you help me? The king tell him, not yet. You are holding back, aren't you? I can feel it. Deku tell him, yeah, I am not here for killing him. I'm here to ask for help. Then every dragon look at Drake and tell him, can you explain this? Drake tell him, yeah, about that. The king have a technique, it's called Zeus Clock. It's amplify his strength, agility, and speed. If I remember correctly, it increased a hundredfold. And Kamenei tell him, well, that was the old Zeus Clock. Could perfect the Zeus Clock. So the multiply increased by 10 times. Drake tell him, what? So he can increase his power a thousand times? Kamenei tell him, yep, that's our boss for you. Everyone is shy, except for the group. The king tell him, I heard that, you know? The who tell him, yep, so am I. So what's going to happen now? The king tell him, you are going to fight me. So you better don't hold him back. If you want to keep your friends safe. The who tell him, what do you mean? You're going to hurt them? King tell him, maybe, maybe not, it's up to you. Deku is pissed. Then he tell him, as you wish. Then he starts screaming. And he got involved in his Zeus Clock. And he took it further to perfected Zeus Clock. Deku tell him, this is my full power. Are you ready? The king smile tell him, ready as you are. Then Deku starts charging at him. Every dragon is in disbelief. He cannot even follow them anymore. Completely vanish. Then Drake powers his Zeus Clock. And tell them I can see them now. But oh my god, what is this speed? I think his power increased more than a thousand times. I can barely see him. Kamen tell him, yeah, about that. His armor increased his power 100 times. So right now, he's 1 million times stronger. All the dragons go, what? Who is this human? And is he really a human? Drake tell them, I don't know. I really don't know anymore. Then Kaminari once again told them about that. The elf queen tells us that Deku is not really human or not fully a human. She refers him as a kin, a mix between a human and something else. But she doesn't know what kin he is. Jurek stays silence. Then Bago tell him, do you know something that we don't? Jurek tell him it's just a hunch. So let's go back to Deku. Deku is throwing everything at the king. From shocking typhoon to hellstorm. But the king will dodge them or use black hole to swallow them. Same for Deku when the king attack him. And Deku start hitting some cracks. He looked at his armor and indeed is starting to crack. The armor was not built to handle this much power. Deku think that he need to end it right now. Then he charged at the king. Then Drake told to Albion. Yo Albion you have the skill appraisal right? Albion nod. Drake tell him can you use it on that kid? Albion tell him sure why not. He used it and see Deku's level. 310. He tell Drake. Then Albion tell him stop one second. It's 311 right now. No it's 312. 313. It's keep on increasing. What? Everyone is shocked. 
How does Deku increase his level to win a fight? Then Drake tells them it must be his unique skill, best learner. It's helping him getting a level boost. But I never thought it would give him this much. Even the king is seeing Deku is getting stronger by the second. Each attack he throw is more powerful than the previous one. Then he smiles at Deku and tell him, I think that's for a warm up. Deku tell a warm up. Then the king starts powering up. His skills turn from bright blue to dark blue. Then he charged at Deku with such speed he cannot even see him. Then he hit Deku, hurling him toward the ground. And when Deku collides with the ground, he found a mini creator. Deku slowly get up, he heal himself, and he know he don't stand a chance against him. Even his armor is at the limit, and he know what he have to do to beat him. He looked at his friends, he gave him a smile, and tell them, thank you guys. I won't understand what Deku is going to do. Baku start yelling at him to stop. It's still a bit early. Deku shook his head, tell him it's now or never. Then his eyes turn red. Once again, the blue aura starts surrounding him, more and more. Until she covered all his body, giving a pair of wings. Then Deku once again starts remembering the past, and his mind started getting flooded with negative emotions. He starts screaming, not this time. This time I have something to protect. This is my power, this is my body. The past is the past, we cannot change it. I know about that. I'm going to use this power, I'm going to master it, and make you help all might. And when Deku finished his sentences, his eyes changed from red to white. And the blue lighting started getting more solid than before, and his wings grow a bit more. Then Drake asks Baku, What's up with this technique? Well, go tell him it's not a technique, it's a unique scale. It's called Dragon Wrath. Drake tell him Dragon Wrath, are you sure about that? But go tell him positive. Why? Drake tell him if you attain the truth, my hunch is confirmed. Deku is a dragon king. All the dragons are in total shock. Even the king heard them. But Deku did not. And Deku started at the king, tell him, Are you ready? Here I come. And he fly at the king. Before Deku was overwhelmed with the king. But right now he's almost a match to him. Mainly use the king huge size to his advantage. And in this form, Deku have barely enough control. So he just firing his attack without concentration. But because of his transformation, they are much, much more powerful than he is in his perfect Zeus clock. And Deku started hitting more cracks then something started falling from Deku he looked at it and it is his armor in pieces he knew that the armor cannot hold much longer and he don't think that he can handle this form much longer so he charged at the king one last time putting everything in his right hand the blue lighting starts slowly vanishing from his body except from his right hand and when he arrived at the king something shocked the king to his core Deku's eyes change they are no longer human they resemble dragon's eyes. Then Deku smile and talk to himself. I never thought I'm going to use this sentence, huh? So right here, right now, all the power that I have, I'm going to beat you. So take it, plus ultra dragon fist. And it was a direct hit. And it sent a powerful shockwave, making Drake transform to his Zeus clock full power and shield the group from the impact. And with the shockwave comes a huge bright light, blinding everyone for a second. Then when they can see again, they see Deku falling. He don't have his armor anymore. And before Deku passed out, the last thing that he saw is the armor on his right hand break into pieces. Deku mumbled, I'm sorry. Then he passed out. And I think I'm going to stop it right here. Hope you enjoyed. If you do, drop a like and tell me what you think of it in the comment section. And if you're around here, consider subscribe and peace.